When finishing a pocket with straight walls or slightly tapered walls, Daper recommends the use of a backdraft or bullnose cutter. Now, if this is a short or shallow pocket, one, maybe two inches in depth, a solid carbide end mill would work just fine for a straight walled pocket. And obviously that's not the best choice if you've got some taper involved. However, the deeper this pocket goes, in this case, we're over three and a half inches, the more susceptible a solid end mill is to deflection. In other words, you're going to have taper uh, in your pocket walls. The use of a backdraft tool engages a very small amount of the insert so that tool pressure is held to a minimum. And by using either a racetrack profiling routine or a plunge finishing routine that creeps around the pocket, your backdraft cutter will give you a straight wall every time and a very, very nice surface finish as you can see in this part. Once the walls are finished, the same tool can be used to finish the floor of the part uh, at a slower feed rate to get a nice finish. And then the use of that same tool for both the floor and for your pocket walls generally allows for a very nice looking uh, blend or transition at that point where the wall and the pocket floor intersect.